Hi, my name is Teresa and you're watching Between Two Wheels. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, let me tell you a little bit about my day. Um, woke up this morning and as soon as I went to do my transfer out of bed, um, you know, I just knew that I was feeling a little weak and initially, you know, right out of waking up just a little fatigued and that's rare for me to wake up and feel um, you know some t tired and fatigued and weak um, but you know it, it I chose to just press on and and um, so I took a shower and to be honest my shower today was probably one of the worst I have had in I'll say six months um, now when I say one of the worst I know you don't know what that means but it means just really really fatigued I know I talk a lot about fatigue on here fatigue fatigue um, MS fatigue is just crazy it it it's just not a physical thing that that happens in your body but it's also a mental thing um, it your body just is weak and I can't even describe it it's just uh, I, I it's you can google it and stuff I just it's my whole body is sometimes like feels like it's weighted down uh, my joints my my just everything it's just heavy uh, it even gets in my in my lungs and uh, my throat and my my uh, voice is affected it gets weak it's a little weak now um, and every part of me just is weighted down and then mentally as well so yeah the shower I did not do well I was not standing up straight I was at a little bit at a uh, my back was bent a little um, I couldn't stand up my balance I haven't talked about my balance but I have real balance and vertigo problems that was bad um, and just weakness and like here this is it all day so taking a shower with these two hands like this is you know, I know this site is this these videos are all about a good positive life with MS and living in a wheelchair and you know for the mar for the most part I do I mean today I in spite of all of this I've had a really good positive day let, let me go on with I'm jumpy I'm sorry I'm jumping all over the place I've scattered brain and so yeah the shower was uh, difficult and then um, I met a bunch of uh, women for lunch we meet about every six weeks um, friends that I have had for decades we meet for lunch and it was it was fun it was great it was enjoyable I, I liked it um, but you know these friends have known me for a really long time and before I had MS too and uh, it was noticeable today um, they and we're all open and honest and you know it was discussed that I was showing signs um, and it was difficult to eat uh, you know I always have to be careful when I go out what to get you know it's not always what I want to eat it's what I'm able to eat when I order um, and even drinking um, you know, that's why I, I have great friends that usually always take care of me with things like that. So, yeah, it, and you just, the energy that I have to create to, uh, to eat and talk and socialize. Um, now, it sounds like somebody, like, was putting a gun to my head to make me do that, it, and... I don't mean to come off that way. I'm just giving you what it was like in my day today, and it was just difficult. And yes, I chose to, you know, go out for lunch because I made that commitment. And um, yeah, so 
yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, so, but just the energy uh, that, you know, has to be created to, to one, manipulate in situations, sometimes in my wheelchair, restaurants to get around and get placed in a proper place. And, you know, that requires uh, some added stress sometimes. And there was a little stressful situation there, but it's all good. Uh, you know, and it comes down again to this, to just choosing to make the best out of the situation, you know, and, um, and I did that today, but it's, it's a really difficult day. Uh, wow. So now see when I put one up at a time, I can focus more energy on the one. I want to bring them both up, man. It's like too much energy, too much too much thinking, like trying to get those, those nerves to just work. And, you know, it, I, it's going to do what it's going to do, but I still try and do like the mind over matter thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Today is just, you know, getting on and off the toilet. The transfer is really difficult. The whole day has just been really difficult. Um, to be honest, I'm kind of glad these 30 videos and 30 days is coming to a close. I just, uh, not that I'm not going to do videos anymore. I might do them, I'm not sure, maybe every couple of weeks or once a month check in or something. And I might do that just kind of for myself to check in. And as far as like these steroids that I took a couple weeks ago, I never really followed up on any of that. We really don't think that they helped, not that I wouldn't, not that I'm not, not that I'm regretting doing it, I'm not, um, but it, we think that maybe it even set me back a little bit. It's a chance you take, you just never know, and MS is so unpredictable, you just don't know. Um, but yeah, the, these videos, it's, it's requiring a lot of energy doing these too and you know like I've said in previous videos just constantly being reminded sometimes of all this isn't isn't necessarily a good thing for me and you know let's face it I'm not the most uh, you know <laughs> I don't know intelligent uh, like cultured an educated person when it comes to MS or anything. This is just what works for me, you know, and and uh, how I choose to live my life, and you know, and I I just live a nice, simple, happy life, and uh, and it works for me. But yeah, so uh, you know, if there's anything today that I want to stress, it's just fatigue and weakness with MS. It's a constant thing. Sometimes it's like the number one symptom when people are don't even know what's going on. They're just really start to get fatigued and tired. And uh, even I can remember when I was first, way before I was first diagnosed, when I was just limping and I was still in the work or in my, my career and um, you know just some days coming home and being so fatigued for putting out so much energy just to walk with my gait and and to keep myself you know my vertigo was starting to be affected and um, just balance and stuff and I would just come in the house and close that door and just lay on that couch and think, what is going on? I mean, I didn't know at that point, but just that overwhelming fatigue and weakness. So yeah, okay, I want to, I want to go. I'm doing nothing this evening. I just need to, to just do nothing. But again, I'm grateful. I, I'm happy. I, uh, you know, I, life is good. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. And, uh, Tomorrow is another day, but uh, yeah. So peace and love, and uh, be grateful. Toodaloo.